Pisces, welcome to your sexual magic deep dive reading for the month of November. We're going to dive in. We're going to see who's coming towards you, what their personality and sexuality is like, how they're feeling towards you in the month of November. And then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into their sexual energy towards you, okay? If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. I am open for personal readings. All that information is down below in the description box. This could be someone new or this could be someone that you're already dealing with. You're going to know once I start describing this person's personality, if it's someone that's already in your energy or not. Like I said, it can be someone new. Okay, if you do find that it's someone that is already in your energy, don't forget to cross watch their sign. All of the sexual magic deep dive readings are going to be posted on my page. Okay, so Pisces, let's get into this. All right, let's see who's coming towards you in the month of November. Spirit, please show me clearly who is coming towards Pisces in the month of November. Please show me this person. All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. Now this person, this person is single and ready to mingle, okay? This person's got their money right, their mind right. They're very abundant, they look good, they smell good. They're very confident, okay? Probably very social. This person might live in the city, okay? This is bachelor, bachelorette type energy. Um, that is looking for someone, okay? Probably the perfect person. I always find that the Nine of Pentacles, because they're so grounded in themselves, they're so secure with their money, so secure with their confidence, that they're generally looking for the perfect person, the ideal person. So if this person's coming towards you, they're very serious about you, all right? Now, we have the Seven of Pentacles. We've got the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Six of Cups, and then we have the Four of Cups, okay? So we've got Capricorn energy, Taurus, Scorpio, Virgo, and Cancer energy. It can be any sign. Take it how it resonates, Pisces. But I'm getting a very sensual and emotional energy from this person which i think would complement you very well pisces okay this is the type of person who is patient who is kind who has the ability to wait out the dating process okay this person takes their time this person kind of um looks at all their options and then picks the best one when it comes to like i said dating this person um it's very patient okay this person will take the time to get to know you will allow the connection to develop and grow um this person this person can play the long game which i like i like this i like this energy all right with the four of pentacles okay i feel like this person when they find something that they really like, they tend to latch on to it. That is one word of caution that I will give you here, Pisces, is that this person, you may find that they want to hold on to the people that they get close with, okay? This person has a very warm energy, all right? This person, I, like, I am, I'm even feeling this person's energy. Like, I just feel this very soft, um, calm energy. Like, there's not a player energy there's no player energy here. I feel like this person is very sincere, very sweet, um, very grounded uh, with all of this earth energy here, very sensual, very emotional, okay? With the four of cups, this person, this person does have a lot of emotions, okay? This person is very sweet, but you may find that this person doesn't, um, omit all of their feelings all at once. I feel like this person kind of waits to see how um, their person of interest will react here, okay? Um, or act and then they kind of wait for the, the perfect moment to tell their feelings to the person that they're interested in is what I'm seeing here, okay? 
in regards to sexual energy coming from this person, there is Scorpio energy here and there is Capricorn energy, Taurus, and then Cancer, okay, and then Virgo. So again, I'm picking up a, a heavy energy of sensuality, a lot of cuddling, a lot of kissing, a lot of intimacy. I'm seeing back rubs, massages. Um, I'm seeing just anything sensual, okay? They might light candles for smell. Um, they might incorporate flavored, I don't know, foods, lube, um, anything. Anything that will ignite the senses is what I'm getting here, okay? I just see somebody who in the bedroom like takes it slow they're not like fiery wham bam thank you ma'am like they're very um wine dine 69 type energy okay that's usually what i refer to as the six of pentacles but i am seeing that but don't let that fool you here okay we've got the six of pentacles which is scorpio energy scorpio is very 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 sexual okay Scorpio energy um, is quite fluid, so you will find that this person is willing to try new things. This person isn't exactly reserved or closed off. Um, with the Scorpio energy and that four of pentacles, I do see that this person may become possessive of you. Um, that's not necessarily so. It depends on their personality and what kind of signs they have in their chart. But I do see that there is a possibility of this person becoming possessive of you, um, especially if they're falling in love or they're developing feelings, okay? However, you may find that this person doesn't, again, expose their, their feelings as quickly as you may like, all right? Um, I do feel like this person does have an emotional aspect to them in the bedroom as well. So you will be able to connect with them emotionally, which will make your sexual encounters um, a, a little bit deeper, to say the least. Um, because if people don't open up emotionally during sex, then guess what? <laughs> you feel empty and hollow afterwards, right? But this person... This person's going to want to talk. This person's going to want to touch. This person's want to get is going to want to get intimate. This person is going to want to um, connect with you on all levels, not just a sexual level here. Okay, so I really like this energy. Now, this person could be an entrepreneur with that Nine of Pentacles. I'm picking that up quite heavily here. Oh man. So, <laughs> I was I'm just about to flip over the cards to see how this person's feeling towards you in the month of November and all of them flipped at once. So that's pretty wild. <laughs> so I'm going to take these. Um so yeah, how is this person feeling towards you in the month of November? Bottom of the deck. We've got the Queen of Wands here, okay? So this person is seeing you as sexy as hell, okay? Very attractive, very confident. Um this person is really turned on by you. Actually, underneath that, we have the Six of Wands. This person wants a victory with you. This person is seeing you as very attractive, very sexual, very sexy, very attracted to your body is what I'm getting here. An emphasis on your, your if you're a female, breast, bum. If you are a male, I'm seeing like broad chest on you. Um, and this person's very attracted to that, okay? There's something to do with your confidence. So the confidence stems back to your chest, okay? So I really feel like this person is very turned on by you. They feel like you are very sexy. Um, and I feel like this person wants to have a victory with you. They want to come towards you. I feel like they've been watching you for some time at a distance here with the world card. So they could be at a physical distance or they could have been watching you online. Um, but they've, they've been watching you for a while here with this page of swords um, is what I'm seeing here. And I feel like every time they look at you, it's like you get better and better, okay? Because we have the judgment and then we have the ace of wands. So... I do see this person uh, being very turned on by you, okay? This is an erection. <laughs> the Ace of Wands I see as a big dick energy. So I really feel like this person is very turned on by you. I feel like this person has had like a sexual awakening with you, okay? Or because of you, I feel like you really turn this person on. They're very aroused by you. They feel like you've got it all here, especially with this Queen of Wands and the World card. Like, you have it all. Um, 
looks i mean this person is very attracted to the way you look okay if you know this person on a personal level um they feel like you're very smart too they feel like they can connect with you relate to you they can talk to you they can be comfortable comfortable with you and i think that's what really ignites the sexual attraction as well if this is someone who's already in your energy if this is someone who's coming towards you they're very attracted to the way you look and the way you carry yourself um they feel really sexually drawn to you here okay so we're going to dive a little bit deeper into their sexual energy towards you in the month of November. So we've got the Hierophant. This person may be a little traditional. We've got the Six of Pentacles. This person may be a little more traditional, especially if it's a masculine that's coming towards you. I'm feeling like... Um, bottom of the deck four of cups habit yeah so this person is not coming in for a one night stand this person is coming in to have you over and over and over and over again okay i feel like this person is a little more traditional with the hierophant um i feel like this person is going to court you especially if it's a masculine energy if it's a feminine energy and it can be like genders can be reversed any way that you see fit but if this is a feminine energy she, I feel like she's going to expect to be courted, but it's not to say that she won't make the first move to show you that she's interested, okay? We have the King of Cups here, okay? This is someone who's looking for love. This person's looking for companionship. This person's looking for the one. Like I said, this person is not looking for a one-night stand. We have the Hierophant here as well. I really do feel like this person is looking for a relationship with you. Um, they at least want to explore that option here, all right? heavy emphasis on your body this person is very attracted to the way you look okay emphasis on the hips the breasts um your shoulders the nape your neck okay um i just feel like this person wants to put their hands on your body they want to be intimate with you they want to know what you feel like okay what you smell like and what you taste like is what i'm getting with this energy I'm also getting an energy of wanting to give to you, okay? Wanting to please you. That's Six of Pentacles energy. So that's an energy of giving, okay? You may find this person is really interested in pleasing you, always wanting to give you foreplay, always wanting to make sure that you are satisfied in the bedroom, okay? Um, I'm feeling this energy of, um, again, an emphasis on your back but breasts like this person just loves your body okay male or female this person loves your body they're very 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 attracted to your figure and the way you look the softness of your skin the way you wear your hair like it's just like everything this person is infatuated with you and this person i feel like they have a very dreamy energy uh, towards you okay um, I feel like they're definitely fantasizing about all the things that they want to do to you. Okay. Yeah, we've got the Six of Swords, which is rolling about. So, again, energy. This person is dreaming about being on top, giving you the pleasure that you deserve here in every way is what I'm seeing. <laughs> So I don't know if you can see this um, devil in the back here. So I feel like this person is obsessed, all right? I feel like this person um, cannot stop thinking about you. This is also Eight of Swords energy. So this person is really trapped in their mind about you. This person is fantasizing you about you. I feel like this person is romanti romanticizing the idea of having a connection with you, having you. Look at that bottom of the deck, the sun. I feel like they see... Um, a really promising future with you here I really feel like this person is coming in for a relationship not just um, not just sex like there is a strong sexual attraction to you this person's fantasizing about you but this person wants to please you okay this person wants to please you and this person wants to keep you is what I'm seeing here okay Pisces <laughs> I can't wait to see you again yeah, I'm feeling this energy where, like, 
if this is someone that you may already know, which it possibly could be, we have the judgment here, which could signify a reunion for some of you. For others of you, if this is a new person, as soon as you leave this person's energy, this person wants you back, okay? This person wants to see you again. Like I said, we had the habit card here. Like this person, this person is not looking for a one night stand is what I can tell you. This person wants to see you multiple times on multiple days, okay? Have multiple, um multiple sessions all right they're not looking for a one round kind of evening they're looking for several rounds this person is very much about pleasing and they're very much about pleasing you especially with that uh six of pentacles they are a giver okay they want a lot of your time and a lot of your attention we've got leave your panties on <laughs> A sense of urgency this person can't wait okay um, it's also something kind of sexy about leaving your panties on if you're like the female then whoever it could be male or female who is um, eager <laughs> eager to get past those panties that they don't even have time to take them off but you know okay so we have Taurus you could be dealing with a Taurus got I miss you yeah this definitely could be someone returning from the past um I feel like and again if it's someone new it doesn't matter like if you guys are not together you guys are at work this person is missing you this person is constantly thinking about you <laughs> we've got you're in trouble <laughs> and we've got I like to watch okay um this person is very infatuated with you okay this person <laughs> I love that you're in trouble <laughs> because I just feel like I feel like this person I feel like this person is kind of obsessed with you I feel like this person watches you constantly I feel like this person um like not in a creepy way like not in a weird way but I just feel like this person can't get enough of you we've got I miss you we've got I can't wait to see you again like, I just feel like this person, I like to watch. Like, I feel like this person, you're consuming this person's day is how I'm feeling. Like, I feel like this person can't get enough of you. I feel like this person um, is just infatuated with you, like, wildly. Okay? <laughs> All right. So, this is what I got for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. I am open for personal readings if that's something that you're interested in. Don't forget to cross watch if you found that this is somebody that's already in your energy. So make sure you watch their sign as well. And uh, I'm wishing you all the best in your romantic future. Love and light.